Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I want to tell you the story of how I got into death metal. <laughs> so, growing up as a teenager, I had a major uh, influence, like, I guess, uh, a lot of other people at my age at that time, from uh, TV, from uh, MTV, from some other music channels like MCM and etc., VH1. So basically, the kind of music that I was listening to, it was anything that would uh, be on those channels because I would just put on that channel to listen to music and uh, whatever is on, it's what I would hear. I had a certain preference for for rock type of music, but it wasn't uh, that, you know, that deep at that time. It was just, you know, a general preference. I wasn't... Uh, actively just searching for this, this uh, style of music only. I remember that at that time, I think it was around 2005, 2006, something like that, I was already a little bit into System of a Down because they had uh, airplay, airtime in the, in the, at MTV and the VH1. So I remember that was cool. I was digging that a lot. But I didn't really have any knowledge about deeper stuff, more aggressive stuff like metal. I got into metal, uh, into death metal, because it was Arch Enemy, the, the band that uh, brought me into the darkness uh, via a friend, actually a cousin of a friend who was living in the United States, and this cousin of a friend came to visit uh, my friend and brought with him a CD, well, a, a copy, a Burns uh, Arch Enemy Doomsday Machine uh, album, which I think Doomsday Machine came out in 2005. So this must have been in 2005 or 2006. So uh, my friend comes to visit to visit me at my house and he brings his cousin with him and his cousin brings this uh, CD from this bench our, our, our Enemy or Arch Enemy as you will and uh, he played it he he asked me, oh can I play you this uh, this band is a really great band I said okay just play it so he puts the CD in and uh, the intro for Doomsday Machine starts to play and that was awesome I, I, this is the first time that i heard distortion like that it was so amazing i was like it blew my mind uh, i had no idea that music like that could have been made and then um after the intro um goes um after the intro there's uh, the first track i believe it's uh taking back my soul and uh, if you know arc enemy you know, that taking back myself is just a whole other level. It's amazing. Uh, Angela Gossam, you know, screaming like crazy. I never heard a woman screaming like that before. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, this is fucking awesome. So I had to have it, you know. I asked if I could have that copy, and he just uh, gave it to me. I don't have that CD anymore, that copy, I guess, that burnt copy of that CD anymore, bro. It's, it was awesome. So from our Enemy, things just progressed from there, you know, to another bands. I started, uh, I started to investigate about our Enemy, and I, I um, came to know that they are a Swedish band, and this was the beginning of my fascination with uh, Swedish <laughs> metal bands. I got into Tarion uh, soon after that. A whole different, a whole other style. Terion is more like a gothic type of style, but uh, you know, because they were for Sweden, I decided to give it a try. Actually, I, I liked Terion a lot. So um, this is it. This is how I <laughs> I learned about Arc Enemy for the first time and how I got into death metal. And uh, a lot of years have gone by, and I'm still into it. <laughs> no signs of slowing down.